Now welcome students, CBSC class 9. The same topic, the fundamental unit of it. Today we are going to discuss about the next cell organelle that is called the nucleus. Nucleus. Nucleus, that is the third cell organelle we are going to study about. Firstly, we are studied about the plasma membrane, then the cell wall, and third is the nucleus. Now, first is the structure of nucleus. A structure of nucleus. Nucleus is composed of five important parts. So, see the diagram of the nucleus. is the nucleus of eukaryotic organism. In this video, we are going to know about one more classification of the new organism that is on the basis of their nucleus. This is the nucleus of eukaryote organism. This is the nucleus of eukaryote. You see, this is the nucleus. The first layer, that is the outside of the nucleus, it is double membrane bonded structure. Double is two membrane is the covering. Double membrane bonded structure. And this is called nuclear membrane. Nuclear membrane. Membrane of the nucleus is called the nuclear membrane. Okay. There little bit gap is present in between this membrane. See, this gap is there. This gap is called nucleopore. Pore is the whole, whole of the nuclear membrane is called the nucleopore. In this nucleus, one round or oval shaped body is present. This round or oval shaped body is called nucleolus. This is called nucleolus. Nucleoplus. Inside this nuclear membrane, some liquid is present. This, this liquid helps all the parts which is present in the nucleus to move properly. It protects also and it is the content of all the nutritive material. This liquid is called nucleoplasm. The plasma is the liquid, liquid of the nucleus is called the nucleoplasm. One more important thing which is present in it. What is that important thing? You must have to take the thread like this. You have to take four or five threads. Dhaka, simple name. You have to keep all the threads in your hand. You have to put your palm. Then put the next palm and you have to rotate it like this. 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 Some threads like this and it forms a ball like a structure. This is called chromatin. Chromatin. Because it is a thread also, so somehow we call it the chromatin thread. So nucleus in eukaryotes is composed of five parts. Nuclear membrane, nucleolus, nucleopore, nucleoplast and chromatin thread. The most important thing is the chromatin thread. Let's see what is actually chromatin thread is. Chromatin thread. When I have said, you have to take a small piece of paper and put it in your hand and put it in your palm. You have to rotate that. It is a structure when the cell is formed. जब cell का formation होता है, तो कुछ वैसा ही structure रहता है, ठीक है? तो हमारे पास क्या है? Chromatin और chromatin thread, okay? At the time of cell division, जब cell का division होता है, ठीक है? Cell is divided, one cell divided to form two cell, two cell divided to form four cell, four cell divided to form eight cell. तो at the time of cell division, chromatin get सेपरेटेड मैंने आपको कहा छोटे छोटे थ्रेड्स का बंच है वो वो थ्रेड जो है आपस में सेपरेट हो जाते हैं ठीक है बंच के फॉर्म में था लाइक दिस 
at the time of division they get separate and when they get separate they are called chromosome chromosome now what is the importance of chromosome kyun itna important hai because chromosome contain dna dna what is dna dna is d oxy ribose nucleic acid the oxy ribose nucleic acid it is a nuclear material ठीक है न्यूक्लिक एसिड से बना है न्यूक्लियर मटेरियल है और इसके ऊपर प्रेजेंट होता है जीन और जीन्स जीन्स आर इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर और ट्रेड्स बिकॉज इट इज अ फंक्शनल यूनिट फंक्शनल यूनिट ऑफ डीएनए फंक्शनल यूनिट ऑफ डीएनए डीएनए में काम कौन करता है दैट काम करने वाला यूनिट जो है दैट इज द डीएनए एक सिंपल से एग्जांपल है अगर आपके बॉडी में देखो तो आप देखते हो आप अपने फैमिली मेंबर से रिसेंबल करते हो ठीक है आपका चलना बोलना आपकी आंखें आपकी हाइट आपका स्किन टेक्सचर आपका हेयर्स ठीक है आप अपने फैमिली मेंबर से फैमिली के किसी भी मेंबर से रिसेंबल करते हो क्यों रिसेंबल करते हो बिकॉज वो कैरेक्टर आपके पेरेंट के थ्रू आपके बॉडी में आया है तो आपके पेरेंट के थ्रू आपके बॉडी में उस कैरेक्टर को किसने पहुंचाया उस कैरेक्टर को पहुंचाने वाले यूनिट का नाम है जी ठीक है जीन कहाँ प्रेजेंट है डीएनए के ऊपर डीएनए कहाँ प्रेजेंट है क्रोमोसोम और क्रोमोसोम एक्चुअली क्या है क्रोमोसोम क्रोमेटिन का एडवांस स्ट्रक्चर है क्रोमेटिन जब डिवीजन में आता है सेल डिवीजन के टाइम पे आता है तब हमको क्रोमोसोम का स्ट्रक्चर दिखता है तो व्हाट इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ क्रोमोसोम वट इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ क्रोमोसोम क्रोमोसोम is composed of two chromatids okay chromosome two chromatids se milke bana hota hai this is called chromatid two chromatids se milke bana hota hai this is the chromatids and this is called centromere centromere एक क्रोमोसोम दो क्रोमेटेड से मिलके बना होता है जो सेंट्रोमेयर के थ्रू आपस में जॉइन होते हैं तो दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द क्रोमोसोम नाउ व्हाट इज द कैरेक्टर्स ऑफ द न्यूक्लियस नेक्स्ट इज द कैरेक्टर्स ऑफ न्यूक्लियस यू मस्ट राइट एन हेडिंग इन योर कॉपी दैट इज द कैरेक्टर्स ऑफ न्यूक्लियस characteristic of nucleus so what are the characteristic of nucleus the first characteristic of nucleus is it is composed of or covered by covered by double membrane double membrane membranous membrane is structure is structure called nuclear membrane nuclear membrane what is the role of nuclear membrane it protect it, it help also help the collect all the material inside the nucleus second small pores are present present in nuclear membrane nuclear membrane called nucleopore nucleopore the third a small round or round or oval shaped oval shaped structure inside the inside the 
न्यूक्लियर मेम्ब्रेन न्यूक्लियर मेम्ब्रेन कॉल न्यूक्लियोलस इट इज द कंट्रोलिंग यूनिट ऑफ द सेल देन अ लिक्विड और फ्लूड अ लिक्विड प्रेजेंट इन न्यूक्लियस कॉल्ड न्यूक्लियोलास्ट न्यूक्लियोलास्ट नेक्स्ट इज द क्रोमेटिन नेक्स्ट इज द क्रोमेटिन एंड व्हाट इज द क्रोमेटिन क्रोमेटिन इट इज बंच ऑफ थ्रेड बंच ऑफ thread which separates which get separate at the time of at the time of cell division division called chromosome 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 is it is chromosome it is composed of it is composed of two chromatids two chromatids joins with centromere centromere as you see in the diagram now what is the importance of chromosome chromosome contain chromosome contain dna you know very well what is dna deoxyribose nucleic acid on which on which functional unit of functional unit called gene or genes are present And these genes are responsible for all the genetic characters in the cell. Now, what is the function of nucleus? Functions of nucleus. Nucleus control or nucleus is responsible for transfer of transfers. genetic material genetic material from one cell to other one cell to other now what is the second function of the nucleus it plays it plays an important role an important role in cellular cellular is the cell reproduction reproduction is the division in the cell cellular reproduction that is the division in the cell there are various functions of the nucleus is there we will write one more function that is given in your ncert book that is it determine the way it determine the way by which it determine the way by which the cell will develop 
and exhibit at maturity. Cell will develop and exhibits at maturity. Cell कैसे develop होगा और जब वो grow हो जाएगा, जब वो adult होगा, तो कैसा behavior करेगा? That is depend upon the nucleus only. So this is the functions of nucleus. Now let's move towards one more type of nucleus. There are two type of organism on the basis of the nucleus. Already we have studied about the classification of organism on the basis of number of cells. On the basis of number of cells, there are two type of organism. No variable that is called the unicellular organism and multicellular organism. This one cell is there, we call them the unicellular, and two cells are there or more cells are there, we call it the multicellular. Now, here one more classification, one more classification, classification on the basis of on the basis of nucleus on the basis of nucleus there are two types of organism okay nucleus ke basis pe do tarah ke organism hai first is called prokaryotes first is called prokaryotes and second is called eukaryotes Second is called eukaryotes. Okay. Now first is the prokaryotes and second is the eukaryotes. I already told you every word in the science contains some meanings. Okay. Here again pro and karyot. Okay. The two words is there. First is the pro and second is the karyot. What is the meaning of the pro? Pro means primitive, pre. And karyon means nucleus. Okay, this means what happened? That organism which has primitive nucleus. है. Who are the prokaryotes? Prokaryotes. Prokaryotes are the organism are the organism which have, which contain primitive, primitive nucleus. What is the primitive nucleus? Primitive nucleus is non-membrane bonded nucleus. Primitive nucleus or non-membrane membrane bonded nucleus okay. this is the bacteria that is example of the prokaryotic this is the cell wall of the bacteria cell wall the liquid which is contained here is called the cytoplasm of a next cell organ that we have to study cytoplasm and what about the position of nucleus? Nucleus is scattered in it. Nucleus is scattered in this way. Bikra hua rehta hai. Take a nucleus, ek jaga combined form mein, ek nuclear membrane se bonded nahi rehta. Agar nahi hai, then we call it the prokaryotes. Okay? They have non-membranous nucleus. So they are called prokaryotes. For example, for example, bacteria. Bacteria are called the prokaryotes. When the prokaryotes are the organisms which contain primitive nucleus or non-membrane bonded nucleus. This non-membrane bonded nucleus, nucleus, this nucleus is called, this nucleus is called. It is not actually nucleus, non-membrane bonded nucleus, so we call it the nucleic acid or non-membrane bonded nucleus. 
called nucleoid nucleoid okay for example bacteria now before comparison between these two we know about the nucleoid As I told you, in bacteria or lower organism, the nuclear material, the nucleic acid, is non-membranous, and that is called the nucleoid. So how we are we find this term nucleoid in lower organism? In lower organism. Now what happened in this lower organism? Lower organism like bacteria, like. bacteria okay what happened in this bacteria lower organisms like bacteria nuclear membrane is absent nuclear membrane membrane is absent now what happened if the nuclear membrane is absent if the nuclear membrane absent hai तो क्या होगा इफ द न्यूक्लियर मेम्ब्रेन इज एब्सेंट देन ऑल द न्यूक्लियर मटेरियल इज स्कैटर्ड इन द सेटोप्लाज्म ओके सो ओनली न्यूक्लियर मेम्ब्रेन इज एब्सेंट सो ओनली न्यूक्लिक एसिड इज प्रेजेंट न्यूक्लिक एसिड इज प्रेजेंट इज कॉल्ड इज कॉल्ड न्यूक्लियोइड called nucleoid okay so what is the nucleoid in lower organism like bacteria nuclear membrane is absent so only nucleic acid is present in it nucleic acid is present in it is called nucleoid but this is the definition for nucleoid so on the basis of nucleus there are two type of the organism one is called the prokaryotes and one is called the eukaryotes so what is the basic difference between the prokaryotes and the eukaryotes the Prokaryotes contain all the organelles which is non-membranous. Non-membranous बहुत easy है. आप अपने friend के यहाँ जाते हो, उसका birthday है. आप उसके लिए कुछ एक article खरीदते हो. Let me suppose आपने उसके लिए एक pen खरीदा. There are two way to you have to present your gift. Two way. First, आप गए, say, take it this pen I am bought for you. Happy birthday. That is the one of the way. Means you are not wrap of the pre pen in the gift paper. Second way, आपने उसको अच्छे से gift paper में pack किया और then you have to give it that. ठीक है? So that is the two way. If the organelles membrane bonded is covered by one layer, that is called the eukaryotes. And if it is not covered by a layer, that is called the prokaryotes. Now what is the difference between these two? Difference between the prokaryotes and the eukaryotes. We are eukaryotes. Okay, हम क्या हैं बेटा? We are the eukaryotes because the our cell is highly developed cell. But prokaryotes are not the highly developed cell. Second, second is the eukaryotes. Primitive nucleus and advanced nucleus. Simple meaning of this term. Okay. Now what is the size? The size of prokaryotes, of size of prokaryotes is one. To ten mu meter. Now, what about the size of eukaryote? It is nearly five to hundred mu meter. It means it is larger than that. It is very big. Now, second about the nucleus. Second about the nuclear region. Nuclear region. Second, we will talk about the nuclear region. It has the eukaryote has it has <coughs> well developed well developed nuclear region nuclear region but called nucleus called nucleus but what happened here it is the less developed or non membranous non membranous nuclear region called nucleoid okay 
non membranous nuclear region called nucleoid what about the chromosome <coughs> chromosome it has single chromosome what about here it has more than more than one chromosome one chromosome what about the organelle all the organelles are all the organelles in eukaryotes are membrane bonded organ here membrane bonded organelle is absent membrane bonded organelles organelles are absent and what happened here membrane bonded organelles are present membrane bonded organelles are present so this is the difference between the eukaryotes and the prokaryotes what are the eukaryotes eukaryotes are the highly developed organisms and what are the prokaryotes prokaryotes are the primitive organisms okay nucleus nucleus is composed of five part that is called the nuclear membrane nucleopore nucleoplasm nucleolus and the chromatin chromatin actually is the contain the genetic material genetic material which is separated or visible at the time of the cell division at the time of cell division the chromatin gets separated to form the chromosome chromosome is composed of two threads called chromatid which is joined with a single centromere on this chromosome the nucleic material is present that is called the nucleic acid or deoxyribose nucleic acid that is the dna on dna the nucleic substance or the functional unit is present that is called the gene which is responsible for the transfer of the genetic characters from one cell to another cell now dear students must like share comment subscribe subscribe and press bell icon press bell icon okay it is important because after subscription you are able to get the information about the every uploaded video all this for today bye bye